Greetings to all my fellow surgeons and dear colleagues. This is Dr. Simanchal Goel from India and today we'll be touching a very very important topic that is the perfect creation of side ports and main port. As there are not a lot of resources available online for a perfect construction of side ports and main ports, I decided to touch this topic and after thousands of surgeries that I have done in the last three years after my residency, I have concluded that most of new surgeons don't know how to construct a self-sealing good clear corneal side port and a perfect main port. Addressing all the issues, there is no universal technique to uh, go with all the cases that you will encounter in your, prof your professional career, but once you start to operate these volumes of cases you'll notice that you have to be a versatile surgeon first and then you can start to discover these techniques uh, that go with certain kinds of cases so here in this video i am going to demonstrate you seven different kinds of techniques that go with almost 99 percent of the cases every case is different and you need different creation of side ports and first we'll discuss the most common mistakes new surgeons and residents make and then in the second part of the video we'll demonstrate you how a veteran operates how a pro surgeon operates minimizing these mistakes and giving beautiful results to the patient so here as you can see in this first part the first case you can see the new surgeon has created these ill-formed side ports that are not straight they're not cancelling and a very very short tunnel length main port what happens is in these cases you can see the malaligned side ports and because of the shorter tunnel length during the surgery as the vitreous pressure increases there is a high risk of iris prolapse and once the iris prolapse prolapses out of during the surgery the surgery becomes very very difficult there will be a lot of inflammation in the post-operative period and the chances of post-operative inflammation and iop spikes increases intraoperative complications also increases never ever create a shorter tunnel length here you can see the second mistake that new surgeons make you can see the gap between the side ports and the main ports is less than three clock hours the minimum gap should be three clock hours and the side ports are tilted towards the main port when they should be at three o'clock and nine o'clock position what it does is in the starting of the career most of these most of the surgeons commit this mistake and when you'll see in post-operative time two three months after the surgery you will see the best corrected vision the sorry the uncorrected vision of the patient would be 6 12 and when you find out the cause everything would be normal but when you notice the astigmatism of these side ports and the main port causes the vision to stop at 6 12 and once you get the AR readings and the refraction, the patient will have cylinder in post-operative period. It will be an unhappy patient. So the third case, you can see what a newbie does is he creates these side ports that are too central in location. They go inside towards the center in clear cornea and what is the side effect of these ports is they cause a lot of astigmatism these incisions are not limbal in their location as you can see see the newbie has created these side ports and main ports toward the center of the cornea which causes a lot of astigmatism in return the patient won't achieve six by six unaided ever ever in post-operative period he will need cylindrical correction and that will lead to patient questioning the doctor doctor why did i not get six by six even after a perfect cataract surgery the fourth case as you can see the surgeon has created these side ports and main ports that are somewhat in the correct orientation but the length is too long you can see the main port is too long the side ports are too long into the clear cornea and once you put your phaco in the main port and you start to emulsify the nucleus what happens is in extreme cases 
DMD. It's a dreaded complication. I would not suggest any new surgeon to create side ports and main ports as long as as long as four or five mm's into the clear cornea. Mind you, this is a very very big mistake that can lead to tragic consequences for the patient, leading to DMD on the main port as you maneuver the phaco in the main port. The fifth mistake is a chevron incision. As you can see, once a new surgeon learns to make a biplanar or a triplanar incision, the new surgeon does not know when to switch your main port parallel to the iris plane and by mistake you'll see you have made a chevron incision what is the side effect of a chevron incision is it also leads to a small dmd a lot of the times i have done all these mistakes in my career and i don't want you to make the same mistakes that why i love to make educational content a small dmd is very very common in chevron incisions so i would suggest all the new surgeons to kindly start making well timed perfect biplanar or triplanar incision the sixth mistake a new surgeon makes is not going towards the junction of the sclera and the clear cornea not making these perfect side ports on the limbus but somewhat through the conjunctiva what it does is once you start put putting the phaco and the irrigation fluid starts flowing out of the side ports and the main port the conjunctiva starts to swell up leading to a lot of chemosis in the adjacent areas of the main port and the side port that causes decreased visibility for the surgeon and pain to the patient and patient cooperativeness decreases positive pressure increases and you are inviting complications to yourself if you create side ports towards the conjunctiva the seventh mistake that a new surgeon makes is not going straight into the cornea these are oblique incisions poorly constructed oblique incisions that have a lot of risks attached with them one of them being decimate membrane detachment post operative astigmatism is very common and ac instability because of fluidic imbalances in in the anterior chamber poor sealing leads to ac fluctuations which can lead to pcr as well these seven mistakes are very very common and they are very common in the normal cases as well last but not the least i would like to discuss one special case that is cases with post rk as new surgeons might not be knowing what is rk radial keratotomy was one entity in the past uh, that was used to decrease uh, myopic correction and this is a 16 cut rk as you can see i have made 16 incisions and what a newbie does is without studying if you go to perform such a case the newbie has created these side ports overlapping the rk incisions and the main port that will lead to corneal tears and wound leak during the surgery this is a dreaded complication and a blunder and last but not the least this is a landmine of 32 cut rk this is a very very dangerous scenario if a newbie starts to perform a surgery like this a phaco emulsification in 32 cut rk is very very meticulous and you need to go perfectly prepared and totally confident to manage all the consequences and the complications if you happen to encounter them if you go with no preparation you're gone RK goes to 90% of the depth in clear cornea as we all know and if you make side ports overlapping the RK incisions, a main port overlapping the RK incisions, you are gone. This ends this video. I hope you like my videos. I am going to post another video in the next few days to 
let you know how to avoid all these complications thank you so much have a great day ahead